All right, ladies and gents, look at this spooky generation. Look at all these spooky little dead trees around. We've got eight players, we've got eight kings, and it's a community game. And when we say community game, we mean, of course, a game where everyone tries to kill each other. Woo! Uh, very pro-community activity. Uh, in the teal, first player here playing as the Koreans is Dr. Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus. All right. Uh, in the red, are they on separate islands here? It almost looks like they are. So in the red, across the seas, we've got the Roman, who is playing as the Bohemian. So immersion is kind of ruined, but I had them do random sieve. So that's uh, that's my fault, I suppose. Uh, in the green, again, on a separate island, is Skunksmore playing as the Teutons. In the orange, we've got Schlumpf playing as the Celts. In the purple, we have Sally Mac playing as the Magyars. In the gray... We've got Azare playing as the Slavs. Uh, in the blue, we've got R Knight 8 playing as the Tatars. And then last but not least, we have Happy the Andy playing as the Malay. Now, we did Hyper Random. And the thing you should know about Hyper Random, while the map obviously looks interesting, yes. the amount you have on each resource is also different. Which I forgot to explain to the players. But, like, for example, this elephant's being eaten for a while now. And there's still 400 food left on it. Uh, this pig here has 55 food. This pig, 55. This pig, 55. Um, this shore fish, 162. This deep fish, 140. Uh, this tree, 140. This tree, 100. So, like, you know, you, you can go around and look at everything. And everything's just a, a bit more random. Now, this is like Age of Empires Puddles Edition here. Like, it is super puddly. There's a lot of little bloops of water here. And three players are actually connected together. So yellow, blue, and gray are connected to each other. And I don't think the other players are... Wait, 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 wait! There is another group that's connected. So red and orange are connected to each other. Not seeing anyone else being here. Yellow says, why does my ostrich have minus 78 food? Wait, so I'm not seeing any food on it. Maybe Capture Age doesn't show negatives. Hold on, we have to look at the food count for yellow here. Pay attention. I didn't know you could have negatives. Yellow says, why does my ostrich have not negative 78 food? Will I get food if I get it? And yellow's going to find out. Okay. So I just want to watch the food and see if it goes down from yellow. Yellow's attacking it. And then killed it with the scout. Okay, apparently that's possible. So, yeah, and Sally's saying I can't kill it with Vils. Okay, so the ostrich is just a bit weird, I guess. And maybe that just has something to do with hyper random. Um, so they also started with a tower. This is called Tower of the Flies. Does anyone, or Tower of Flies, does anyone remember this? It always bothered me that there's not flies flying around the tower. As a kid, that bothered me. Um, but I remember when I would set up scenarios yes. which were where I'd have this incredible base with lots of walls and towers and units, and then I would have the AI send in thousands and thousands of like militia, and I would just massacre them and feel really good about myself. I remember doing that. I would select Tower of Flies. Uh, this is a tower that's pretty well known for those that have played any scenarios or campaigns. So they all started with that. They also then have a king where if you lose your king, you're defeated. So I imagine for most of the players, navy is going to be needed here. So the best naval civilizations are the Koreans for Dr. Prudius Maximus. Uh, the Malay for Happy Andy. And then I... Don't really consider any of the other civilizations that special on water, but I suppose like the Bohemians could be decent. And maybe the Magyars, but maybe some landings will need to happen here. And whether they wanted this or not, I'm not too sure. What are they talking about? Um, Hey guys, want to trade corner to corner? We have the east, all of us, it seems. It says gray to purple and to blue, so they might want to trade on water. Maybe we'll see trade cog action. Um, uh, Jonathan said, I always think about how much T90 is a dad. 
I'm not sure what that means, but thanks. <laughs> Does that mean, is that my humor? I don't know. Maybe it is. I will say, like, I feel like ha part, I, I'm not a father, by the way, just to make it clear, I, I do not have children. Um, I do feel as though the, you know, like the power, you know, a dad probably feels when he tells a dad joke and his whole family cringes. I have that power multiplied by the thousands, right? And then if like the joke is really bad or like if you guys are hungry or if you guys didn't do your homework or whatever, I don't have to deal with all that. So I can make the, the really bad joke. I can make you guys cringe and then I don't have to deal with your nonsense. It's really nice. So, you know, I do make some jokes from time to time. Sally trying to say Huntables and then says TF is very confused as why Huntables couldn't be said the first time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the update on the game. People It's just lots of water. Like, unfortunately, this is not something I would expect to give us lots of land aggression. And ooh, orange says to everyone. So yellow could actually hear this. Guys, did yellow also not ally you? And gray says yes. So there's always one person. And Yellow says, no one allied me, man, 11. Okay. All right, listen. <laughs> They're getting upset, actually. <laughs> Pearl was going to make a joke. Purple says, that's not true. Gray says, that is a lie. <laughs> um, so listen, rule number one in diplomacy. All right. I'm just going to help everyone who eventually plays in these games. Rule number one, ally everyone right away. Okay. Don't put anyone on neutral and try and be fancy, because if you do that, you're going to be the only one that chooses neutral, and then everyone's going to feel like you don't trust them. All right? Yellow apologizes. Rule number two of Diplo is probably, like, talk to the people to the sides or, like, speak to people in some way, shape, or form just to show that you're friendly. And then rule number three of Diplo is don't make fun of me in the actual game because I have to read that, and it is extremely awkward. Okay? So... They seem pretty cool with it. Uh, Yellow's learned the lesson in a live time. That's fine. And Gray is now asking everyone to be friends. Which I think is, is actually the Diplo tactic I've talked about before. So basically, if you want to talk to everyone, you can do the asterisk and it'll do the all chat, right? What you can do is you can also like go to the chat menu, select everyone and then just type the message without the asterisk saying, do you want to be my friend? So this to everyone else feels like they and they alone have received that message. That's a little trick. Anyways, and now, of course, everyone's going to respond to Gray and say yes. So Gray is, you know, now gained some friends. Good stuff. Rooster Chuck says rule five, don't diplo aggressively ask to ally midway through. Well, I mean, that worked today. So maybe that's the way to do it. Guys, what we haven't talked about is how there's, like, no trees on this map. Like, look at Purple's base. What is this? This is horrible. <laughs> this is just genuinely bad. <laughs> this is... Well, hold on a second. Actually, these trees have 175 wood. So that's good, at least. But, like, Sally's completely screwed as far as trees are concerned. Um, Orange has massive forests worth of trees and people are chatting to each other right now maybe they'll start chatting about trees soon not a map generation i would have dreamt up orange says hey purpel just to you want to be friends blue says would you like to be friends to yellow yellow says i think we should be too blue says that would be good sally says sure i want friends it's nice to have a friend or two so i think to add perspective, the game before this on the live stream, YouTube, okay? Half of the people didn't ally or talk to each other at all, and I was very critical. And I would like to think that my words have, have inspired change here, and a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, actually, it makes a lot of sense to ally people and talk so I don't get killed early. And now, you know, we're just having so much chatter. Hmm. But what do they do about the wood? Like, this is an unfair map. If this is a tournament, this would have been an admin re. We wouldn't be at this point. 
But in community games, people's mis misfortune is our content. And, of course, we're not, like, playing for money or anything. It's all for interesting storylines and pride. And also, if there's any player who could maybe deal with it, it would probably be Sally. Because Sally is a pretty experienced player. And Sally transports villagers to TC some wood. So there we go. Not bad. Guys, yellow, blue, we share an island, we should be friends. Yeah, so sometimes in Diplo games, you may choose to be friends with somebody based on your opinion of their username. Or, um, you know, their civilization. Or uh, there, there could be a variety of factors. But other times in community games, and this is a bit more common, you end up being friends with someone based on location. Uh, very frequently, you'd see someone just be friends with the person they're next to. Well, here, it makes a lot of sense, and it's a good shout-out from Grey to be teamed together if you share one island, which is essentially what's happening here with the Grey, Blue, and Yellow yes. team. So, the Sally talking to Orange at the moment. And Orange says, do we want someone else in this Allianz? Allianz Arena! And Sally says, no, not yet. So, guys, Sally is a master diplower. Wait for Sally to cook. It's going to be really good. I don't know if you can, if Sally can dip low their way out of lack of trees. Now, this is interesting. So, Gray is asking the team, the South Squad, basically, if Purple can be included. And I'm sure Gray noticed that Purple's here stealing some trees. Now, Orange had just talked to Sally and said, hey, Okay, should we talk to someone else? Purple said no, and Orange is going to do it anyways. And Orange is getting kind of pissed because Red is stealing a relic. <laughs> Orange says, Red, no, my relic. And Red responds by saying, Red, yes. <laughs> and then Gray says, yes, what? <laughs> Gray doesn't understand, and Orange is very angry. And Red is trying to run away with this relic. <laughs> We could see some micro from red and the fishing ships are blocking. What a play. Monk is on the move. And wait a second. Okay. So these two are going to fight over this relic apparently. <laughs> and I'm a big Roman fan. <laughs> it looks like death and destruction will continue fighting over this relic. And Green's trying to talk to Orange about friendship, but Orange is just... It, Orange is very focused on this, I imagine. And Orange says, Red, ally again? I guess accepting that that relic might not be taken. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, what a response. Like, what a witty response. <laughs> and Red just says, okay. So, we'll see who gets this relic. I imagine there's more monks on the way. Relics can be really important. And there's the monk. I'm not seeing another monk from Orange, so Orange, <laughs> Orange might have just accepted it. Now, what I think is funny is, like, that will probably play a big role in this game. Red and Orange share an island, kind of, sort of. Like, they, they have a land connection, but that land connection has now caused conflict instead of peace. You know, whereas down here in the south, it currently seems like it's brought a lot of peace. Bed of Roses, thanks for the 29 months. This hype, thanks for what you do, T90. Hey, thank you. Uh, Tom Snuffles, thanks for the 20. Thank you, Zerber. Thank you. Uh, oh, dear. How sad. 91. I got candy meat. Ugh. Tamara Robinson and then Cactus Key. Thank you, everyone, for the support and subs. We will have yellow in the, in the Imperial Age in a moment. Quote of the game so far is red saying red yes. Orange is trying to still talk to people. We haven't seen Red really be too chatty with people yet. But I appreciate, like, the, the instinct there in the moment to say Red yes is hilarious. <laughs> so, I think Roman's one of my favorites now, and Roman does gain that relic. That's relic number two. Hmm. Okay. Red ally again. Blue is stressed out. That's all Blue has said. This is very stressful. And uh, I just reached out. He wants to be ally with me, so looking good. 
And Sally says, I'll take your word for it. Welcome to our fold, green. Okay, so green is teamed with purple and orange. Green now says, Red, are you willing to share friendship with me? Now, this is exciting because I just want to see Red speak now. <laughs> I also love Orange. Who says, I think he is new to the talking part. He did not answer a lot of my questions. So, a very chatty team in Sally and Schlump. But you can see Sally's already running out of trees here. He is new to the chatting part. Everyone's allied... But for now, <laughs> no, sorry. That would be like, that would be the advertisement for this game. Three island, three people connected on an island. An island in the north, there's conflict. Uh, I, okay, I don't worry, I'll work on the script. It'll get better. Oh man, Orange is snitching. I love it. It's so petty. It's literally just one relic, unless Red's doing this elsewhere. Orange says, careful, guys. Red is trying to steal your relics. <laughs> Maybe it's happening elsewhere. Red would have the transport. How many relics did Red get? Red only got two, so I don't think Orange actually saw more. Sally says, I have none to steal. And Yellow says, he can have mine for 20, 20 pounds. All right. Orange, who are you allied with? This is green. And green, uh, orange will definitely respond because orange has been very chatty. Now, yellow's got the eco lead. Yellow also has one of the best water sieves. And um, yellow has a lot of space and is also has two teammates on land. So happy that Andy is in a really good spot. Got some ships moving around. Reminder, if a king dies, there is an explosion. I am just going to go out on a limb and say that the Roman wants to kill Schlump here. Because this is land army, which we could see used to transport things. But you also could just cross over here and right into Orange's base. Now, Sally, seeing yellow score maybe, says just realize Malay could be insane here top score as well. Yeah, Malay could be disgusting here. Yellow's got like the best scenario to dominate this game with the civilization and then the map gen and then the way the teams are set up. And like wood's going to run dry really early. So I think ultimately this comes down to trade. Because if you have a trade, you can buy wood. So trade and then maybe navy to control the trade will be important. But that army tells me red will go kill orange. And orange maybe... Now, not, not having too much faith in red will mean that Arj will look over there and notice that because they are allied right now. Hmm. Someone says, why does it feel choppy? It doesn't seem that choppy to me. If it is slightly choppy, it could be that one of them has potato PC. Back in the day, before there were servers and all that, we used to play... We used to have a rule where it was called kill the lagger. So if someone, like, if you're playing a team game... And you would normally focus on, let's say, the flank on one side. But the pocket was lagging. You would just focus on killing the guy who was lagging so the game wouldn't run as bad. I'm not seeing it that choppy, but if it is, my bad. Harsh Joshi says, why no team games in community games? Because regular team games are regular team games. Community games are where it's at. This is essentially turning into a team game anyways. I don't like standard team games for community games. Typically, you're going to have like a 3v3 and then a, you know, a two-person team. It does tend to happen. Grace says, who shall be the first target? If I had to pick anyone right now, I would say maybe you... Well, Grace like friends with everybody. Sally says, honestly afraid of yellow. Malay has longer lasting fish traps combined with the wood shortage and top score. And then Orange says, I think one of the big guys would be good. So everyone's feeding all this information to Gray. Gray's got a lot of power, all because at the start, Gray reached out to everybody individually. Hmm. Now, Blue is terrified, right? And I think if my live viewers could all smile at Blue, because I, I want Blue to rewatch this later and realize you made it, buddy. You're alive. You didn't die yet, okay? You, the only thing I recall you saying is you were stressed. You made it, all right? 
Good job. I hope I'm not jinxing you here. But Blue actually got blessed by the AoE gods because Blue has connections to other players. And these players are, are very kind. And have a lot of reason to be very kind to Blue too because Blue is right between them and could explode them. So that's pretty good for our Knight 8. Still waiting to see if Red will make a move. This could be more for protection than anything because Red did anger Orange earlier. And the game has had very little death, very little strife. Trees are slowly disappearing. How many trees are left? I'm going to zoom out, double click the trees. 130,000 wood? It's actually not much at all. <laughs> Only 1,400 trees remaining of that type of tree. There might be a couple other trees I've missed. Sorry, I'm new to this. What happens in Exploding Kings? If a king dies, there's like a bit of a countdown. And then upon the countdown completing, there is a big explosion. It is much bigger than you can imagine. Uh, if it were to explode underneath Red's TC, for example, all of this would explode. So it destroys buildings and units. Sally the Diplo Mastermind says, Guys, so my read of the situation is yellow will attack soon. We should wait it out. Blue says to yellow and gray, I will try to build some army now, was just booming with a frowny face. Oh, also, we missed Teal saying Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And Yellow actually said, whoa, Yellow said, I have a feeling I'll be the first target. Interesting timing on this conversation because the no details are being passed along. There's no messages, no whispers in anyone's ear. Hey, Teal, how are you doing? Hmm. Great, good, sir. How abort yourself? All right. I really like how Orange likes to speak to people. I can't help but feel like, you know, having Celts on a water map. And, you know, the, the map generation is going to affect a lot of what's possible here. So I'm hoping that Orange gets to play out with some good Diplo here. I mean, Yellow's super top score has built up an amazing base. It would make sense that folk... And has an amazing sieve, so... And yellow, if you were to look over here, now I'm seeing the choppiness, by the way. This is just someone's PC being potato, so... Um, if they eventually die and leave the game, then maybe it'll get a bit better for us. A yellow could easily do a lot of damage to anyone, because Navy can do so much here. That's a big fleet, man. What are you going to do with that, says Gray? Yellow should realize... There's a lot of things happening, like chopping these trees, taking this gold, having the fleet. There's a big old target on them. Will anyone dare to go find yellow here? Uh, Pat, thanks for the 41 months. Says, hey man, good to have you back. Thank you. Good to be back. Heard a couple of villagers dying. A little villager sacrifice to the Korean gods. Or just needing population space. <laughs> Guys, get some trade to buy woods, says Yellow. So Yellow's speaking to blue, teal, and then gray. So it, it pretty much like the south. And then I guess like you could say that teal is, is not so much the south, but maybe the east, or, or sorry, the west. Let's actually look at wood here. It's the Kelt player with all that wood chopping that has 1,300 wood right now. Yeah, they're actually not wrong, though. Buying wood is going to be a, a factor in this game, it feels like. Maybe we could attack someone who still has wood, says Sally. Yeah, but you know it's tricky, guys. If you kill somebody and there's an explosion, it takes out the trees. <laughs> you forgot about that. Like, if you kill Orange to take Orange's trees, the trees are gone. <laughs> this is just brutal. Yo, Toby Wan Kenobi with the gift and subs. Thank you. Appreciate the love, my friends. Problem is, if we attack first, we'll be looked like as bullies. And Sally says, I know, right? But nobody's doing anything. Yeah, if no one wants to be that guy. No one wants to be the first person. Been really silent. Are they just going to wait until all the trees are gone? Then make a move? 
I think blue is making a force that would make me nervous if I were yellow or gray because it's a land army. But I don't think... You know, I, I personally don't think that Blue's doing this to kill anybody. I think Blue is kind of noob. And Blue is not even thinking about Navy right now. Yellow's being nice. Yellow says, right, boys, I have a bit of wood. Who needs 11? Also, had Yellow not said pounds earlier, I would have still probably been able to guess that Yellow is British. <laughs> right, boys. <laughs> Oh, he, he wants PayPal transfer. Oh, God. I'll link PayPal. <laughs> he's going to charge people real money for the wood in-game. Dang, he's got a whole business plan. And Roman says, cash or credit. All right, well, we've got a bit of a credit system going on. I, I mean, it's never happened. But it could be possible. Yellow says, either red. I don't mind. All right. I like how when Red speaks up. Red spoke up about the relic and Red spoke up about buying wood. I would assume we will not see actual money changing hands here. But people do take this very seriously. Green a little bit nervous with Red. Asking Red if yes. they're cool. Red says yes. Red's a little lazy with chat. Uses the all chat a lot. That makes sense. And trees are just slowly disappearing. Make sure you get a percentage of his wood sales. That's true. I feel like I've offered the means for this communication. I should get a cut. What percentage would be fair, guys? I figure at least like at least like five percent. You know, we wanna we want this to be a booming business. I'll take five percent. I'm fair. Not greedy enough. Wow, you guys are saying a hundred percent, fifty percent, thirty-five. You don't like it? You get unrigged. Guys, I think Orange is the lagger. Should we get rid of him first? Oh, no. Gray said that to Orange. Gray, you included the person you want to kill in the message. And Sally says yes directly to Gray. And Gray says, no offense, Orange. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Kill the lagger is actually happening here. Because they need a reason. They need a reason to make a move on someone. And if everyone's lagging, that is the reason. Hey, Gray, why are you backstabbing? I like how Orange goes directly to Gray and just calls him out. This is great. Make Gray feel bad about it. I think, you know, Gray was initially trying to be sneaky. Hey, Gray, why are you backstabbing? Gray says, because of the lag. Sally now says to everyone, someone should make a move. But with limited resources, you don't want to be that guy who makes the move. Sally says, is what I'm hearing in my head. Okay, Sal, you might want to get that checked out if that's what you're hearing in your head. But I think that's just what Sally is thinking at the moment. Pretty soon, like, the starting island from Sally is, is going to be no resources left. Grace says green is on the move. Is green on the move? And Red says, Teal, what is that fleet? Everyone's so defensive. It's a bunch of turtle ships. Elite turtle ships from Dr... This is not just Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus. It is Dr. Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus. Thank you. The doctor is ready to see you now with massive turtle ships with oars that do not paddle. Doctor says, I don't actually know. Never played Koreans before. They look kind of sick. Blue says, who are we attacking first? Yellow or gray? No one seems to want to attack because there's no trees on the map and this game has kind of turned into a disaster. I apologize, people. Trade is really important, though. So, let's at least look at that. Uh, how many trade cards we got working? Looks like there's the trade numbers. Anyone under 30 right now is in a rough spot, in my opinion. Which is six of the... No, five of the players. Red is 41. You've got 48 for Jonathan. And you've got 63 for Schlumpf, the lagger. No one has made a move. No one wants to lose. Imagine you spend years trying to get into a community game. You finally get in, and then you get Sally's Island. <laughs> uh, Sally's, of course, been in many, but... 
That's when you know it's just not your day. Still chatting. And they're talking about the price of wood. Okay, so market events. Look at the look at how much they're spending to buy wood right now. They're actually thinking ahead. I'm so proud of them. Like everyone's talking about it. Very informed. I'm not gonna have market events on continuously because it'll probably just fill up everything, but it gets really spammy after a while. People seem bored at the moment, but if you've made it this far, you've been part of this journey. Blue would still be stressing me out. The fact that yellow or gray hasn't gone to blue and said, why do you have that army and asked blue about it is crazy to me. Blue is making trade cogs for the time being. There's a big old trade route over here. bump a lump a lumpin And trade's important. That's the best way to trade. Sally asking people, got an idea for breaking the deadlock. What do we do here? For now, there's been no answers, really. Oh, this could be fun. Gray says, try talking green and yellow against each other. Wood, please. I think, like, honestly, there's certain players here. If you go up to them and say that they're being backstabbed, they'll believe you. It's just who's going to be the greatest, who's going to be the sucker. I could see Schlumpf being the sucker, but Schlumpf, you're kind of needed. So, like, obviously green and purple wouldn't want to do it. Because, like, Orange is very pro-Diplo, and I think is so pro-Diplo, might have too much faith in people. Teal says, what's the move? I still think T90 is a bit of a dad. I'm not a dad. I'm young and I'm full of life and energy, and I not have children, all right? Not saying if you do have children, you're not young or with energy. Oh, God, I've just alienated some of my fan base. This is on Dr. M. Prudius Maximus. Not on me. Hmm... We wait, and we wait longer as more techs are coming in. Thank you, Tank, for the Prime sub, by the way. <laughs> Minus 7k. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, Red's got to transport with wagons, people. Big move. Big move. And also, Orange spotted it, too. Also, a small detail as I look away from the transport ship for a second which I think is really smart. Sally building the fist traps here makes it really difficult for Navy to hit that. That's like the one positive here. Oh, yellow showed up and is taking wood from Orange's Island. This is like a this is like a bank robbery here. This is a big deal. And Orange says, "Yellow, why are you stealing trees?" And yellow says, "Wood voyage times are hard, man." Orange, you have a decision to make. Are you going to onage the, the wood that you should be chopping, or are you going to kill these bills? See, no one wants to be the first person to attack here. But if you onage the trees, then you can't take them. If <laughs> Red's trying to Red's trying to stir up some drama, Red says, Orange, are you just going to let that happen? <laughs> and Orange is not going to let that happen. And Red is happy. Uh, Orange says, yeah, I talked gray into joining us. Orange and green. And yellow is attacking or not. Okay, yeah. Yellow is just chilling. They want to do a 4v4. Huh. Well, guys. Now yellow can't drop off the wood without a lumber camp. So yellow, yellow's villagers are walking down here. And they can't swim. So... That's not going to work. Just getting bumped into by trade carts. Somebody's got to fight. Okay, I'm going to give you to the hour mark. I should go full Home Alone quote as we close it on Christmas. So I'm going to give you to the count of, count of three to get your yellow, bloody, no good, some keister off my property. What's the quote? I think that's it. And then there's a lot of laughter and there's gunfire and then there's BB guns and yeah. I uh, have started, you Thanksgiving ended here, so it's now Christmas movie time, and I'm very excited to watch some of the classics. No one wants to make the move because they feel like they're going to be the bully, and no one wants to be the bully. This is snowballed out of control here. 
And Wimpovich says, come on, this is boring. Do it for Wimpovich in my chat, who's just is come here ready for action. There's probably a lot more uh, wimps out there, or uh, Wimpoviches, sorry. I mean, I'm not totally disagreeing here. How, like, winning is nice, but winning with style is nicer, right? I think we should also say that the map generation didn't help us, and I was very concerned at the start once I saw the map gen. Who's going to make the move? Now, let's talk about the two main areas of trade, all right, folks? We've got the trade moving here. So this means teal, yellow, blue. Now, what direction is blue actually trading? Blue's actually trading the other way. Anyways, at least like teal and yellow need to stay teamed. Otherwise, they'll kill each other's trade. On this side, we've got the trade route on the far side as well. So they all need to be teamed. So I think like the people who are actually should be screwed here would be gray and red because they're not trading on the furthest side. Gray says, this is too quiet. And red says, make the move first move then. And green is going to do it. And green is in red's trade. We have action, people. So loot's in chat for green. I'm sure green's days are numbered now. Uh, we're about to be shown why no one wanted to attack. But it finally, at the hour mark happens, Skunk's Moor is ready for blood. Or wreckage, I suppose. Roman says green is attacking. Well, what are you going to do about it? And yellow says, oh, and everybody's ready. This is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Sally is not happy with green because Sally had a plan. <laughs> and Sally's like, green, why'd you do that? And then says, I guess the plan can go through. I'll attack yellow on water. Okay. So, you know, like red has a lot of land army and you can't really loot use your land army unless you wanted to use it against orange and i think that means that sally's going to start to make a move because that's what sally's been saying against yellow i don't know how helpful blue's going to be again with land army gray's got a bunch of land army too is gray gonna oh gray's gonna go for yellow right i i mean gray is on team sally and yellow's got full water and the only thing that yellow really has beyond full water is, is just the castles and the bombard towers. It could be a problem for yellow against boyars. Also, if you ever going bombard tower defense in a community game, certain players will see that as far too tryhard and far too troubling, and they will kill you. There are times where you're not punished, but I, it's gotten to that point these days. Bombard tower defense means you're trouble. Dancing Cactuses, this match is a complete failure. Tell me more. Please, save the match for us, Dancing Cactus. How's this gonna go? People don't expect me to read their messages and they feel like I'm calling them out. Red has actually relocated trade? And is actually gonna trade from blue to the eco over here. Also, holy fishing ships here. Teal, would you help against green? Put those turtles to the test. Teal says, yes, good sir. Yeah, turtle ships against galleons that don't get bracers should be incredible. It's very rare you see elite turtles in action, and we're about to. I, I, I'm going to say, I got to give credit to, to, the, to the Eastern team for a second, right? Because they at least had a plan in place. They were like, hey, this is our team. This is the plan. The other guys were just kind of twiddling their thumbs, but not discussing what would happen in the event of conflict. So I think, from what I'm seeing now, like green, orange, purple, and gray should do really well. And gray's going to turn on yellow. Yellow notices this. If the king goes down for yellow, there will be an explosion. Now, Bombard Towers galore is not going to help how stalemate this game has been. But you also have navy in the trade, and holy trade losses over here. This is going to be brutal. You need the gold to make units. You need the gold to buy wood. That is the type of game we're having. And yellow had navy before, but what happened to yellow's navy? Did yellow delete the navy to get pop space to defend on land? Maybe. Boyars are also going to do an amazing job against two-handed swordsmen. So at least for the time being, now the castles and the towers will do damage and then the trebs are going to go down. But Grace taking some really good fights. 
People are saying that yellow's got navy north near red. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so it's stuck as he's distracted. And the turtle ships have come to town! Crazy. And red also paying attention here, and maybe greens could have some problems. But guys, the trade going down is massive. I'm a little surprised that we're not seeing teal's trade go down as well, though. It is only yellow's trade. If they wanted this to turn into a 4v4, which someone wanted earlier. Someone asked about team games. It's essentially what this has become. Maybe we'll end up seeing that. Now, gray could have problems with blue. Yellow says, blue, I call upon thee. Kill gray. And all blue has ever wanted is direction in life. Blue has been terrified since the start. And blue wants somebody to say, go do this for me, pal. And blue doesn't even hesitate. <laughs> Blue's like, I'm ready. And I'm sure Heart is pumping like crazy. Now, what Blue hasn't done is use these fire ships to help against this, which is also an issue for Yellow. And Red has transported the wagons to go in against Green. And Red also has the, has the cannon galleons on the other side. Green is falling apart. The town bell has been rung. You know what that means. That means that Green is terrified. Uh, or maybe it was a misclick. I don't know. Uh, the king jumps out of the castle and into the TC. But the TC could be focused down as well by Red's Navy. Green just cannot defend against these uh, elite turtle ships. Green making a run for it now. And guys, I'm wondering if Orange is going to support. Orange is supporting with words, but not with ships. Not with any forms of navy or army. And then a massive battle here will continue between the Boyars and now the Halbs and the Trebs from Yellow. Red has researched trees and looking for that king from green, but green did escape. So it took some time to really get action started here. I think something Sally may regret is not taking out the, um, the trade from Teal here. Because Teal might eventually come into Yellow's aid. Orange says to the viewers, Hey, Twitch, because I am score lead, I will research spies. Damn, did not work. <laughs> Wait, what? Like actual spies? Like 30k gold? Hold on, we need to check this. Okay. So Orange is 11k gold now. Uh... You need 30k gold to be able to get spies. So I maybe Orange didn't know that. But I appreciate the energy there, Orange. But, like, also, spies is a bit of an interesting thing. Maybe you can't research it if you are allied with everyone? I don't know. Anyways, Orange is telling team now, like, I'm almost ready. But, like, this was not well coordinated. Green started to attack. Then Purple said, well, I guess I should attack. And now Orange, like, 10 minutes later says I'm almost ready. Gray says, are you going to help or not? And is saying this to Blue. And I didn't realize Blue is a choice to make, guys. Blue is a choice to make. Blue is to decide, do I fight yellow? Or do I fight gray? Ooh, that's why Blue hasn't engaged here yet. Oh, no. I mean, Blue is already terrified. And now you've got two really strong players telling you to choose a side here. Dang. Let's see how things go. Again, I, Sally needs to be killing Teal's trade, right? Like, Sally's teammate Green is dying here. Sally needs to be killing that trade. What is the shoreline control if you're not killing everyone's trade? And Blue is going to go for Yellow instead and says, Sorry, Yellow with the frowny face and is going to make the move. Yellow can't believe it. Yellow says, Blue, don't, boo. Dang. Crazy stuff, then. I mean, the Keshiks do not have any Blacksmith upgrades last I checked. Um, so that's that's really bad. But still, a Keshik is a good unit in and of itself. This is Malay we're talking about, though. And there's 100 military for Yellow, who has 5k food and still has Fist Traps. So the spam from the Malay could continue indefinitely. The spam from the, from the Turtle Ships will continue. And I'm just thinking, like... Teal's going to eventually work his way around here and get directly into everyone's trade and kill it all. Whereas this trade is not going down. So, you know, with trade being the most important thing now, as far as Eco's concerned, I think it's a pretty big deal. We'll still see if Orange chooses to help. 
Orange has a lot of trade. Like, Orange's trade count's got to be ridiculous here. Orange has... Uh... Workers. 108 workers. And Teal does as well on gold. So I imagine that's probably just all trade cogs. Orange talking about trying to get somebody. Orange is loading up transport ships, people. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wimpovich now says this is not boring anymore. This is the bomb. Wow, okay. If Wimpovich gave us the sign, then we're in for something. 10 Trebs, 30 Woad Raiders ready to potentially go after Red. And I kind of forgot Red was in the game, to be honest. Oh, oh, who's going to transport first? It's actually pretty wimpy, the, the three, the units coming in here. But oh, the other transports are filled as well. Yellow can't believe it. Yellow just can't believe it. Says, I am so upset. I'm probably over the whole blue situation. Thought that blue was just going to help, but Gray was very chatty throughout the game. Props to Blue for making what was probably a very tough decision. Andy says, Teal, if you come help me, I'll give you a kiss. And Teal immediately says, my Navy is... <laughs> my Navy is coming. Thank you for that, guys. And I'm just... Again, I, I don't want to act like I predicted everything here. But, you know, that trade from Sally... Er, the, the Navy from Sally could have been in the trade. Green's King in trouble again. We just caught the bell. And Green has had a real struggle ever since Green decided to be the first one to attack here. But again, Green will survive. Ooh, fire ships could maybe come over to, to help against some of this. And Gray and Blue continue with their journey against Yellow, who has zero trade to work with. And Gray researching Treason to find out where kings are located, probably to see that the king for Yellow is still in that castle. Red's base has been infiltrated by Schlump. Top score, by the way. And Orange rolling in with the Trebs here to go for the King from Red. Now, remember the Relic, people. Look at what is directly next to the castle that has the King in it. It is the monastery that holds the Relic that Red stole earlier. And to quote Red, <laughs> when Orange said Red no, Red said Red yes. <laughs> and wanted that Relic. But he made an enemy with that Relic. And I don't know if it's going to be worth it here. With Woad Raiders on the island, Red has to escape somehow. Red would have to get into a transport. Remember, with Exploding Kings, if Red could get his king to Orange's island, he could take the enemy with him. And that king is running for it right now. Now, you've got to run with the king separately. Relic's actually still in the monastery. King is on the move. Woad Raiders chasing. Heart probably beating like crazy for Orange. Chasing, chasing, chasing. We still have the push elsewhere. That Red is going to try and quick wall this. Uh, red, yes. Red, no. Red, no. Red, no. Red, no. Red, no. Red, no. Run, 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 run. Get a transport over here fast. Woad Raiders are super speedy. We actually had a Woad Raider kill a king in the previous game. I don't know if I've had a day where Woad Raiders have killed kings twice. Run, 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 run. Into the TC. Kick the villagers out. Smart thinking. And Slumps is why he's so fast. And Red's actually going to hold. Sick. Well, hold on, actually. There's a chance. Orange would have to click the king immediately if the TC goes down. Mm, this is fine. So we thought, like, maybe red no, but more so red yes. Push continues here. Blue's got a massive army back here. Still not really engaging with it. But does have the trebs. The navy for Sally pulled, was pulled back. And Teal sending the turtles. The turtles were sent three hours ago. Uh, this is before overnight shipping. And so Teal's going to turn on Blue. Blue's going to lose a lot on the shoreline, including the trade because of this. This does also allow Green time to rebound because the Turtles aren't here anymore. Um, Yellow has the King in the ship here. And if Yellow ever felt like they were going to die, could decide to go boom somebody here. And Yellow's got big boom energy. Yellow's got massive boom energy here and says teal i wish you luck good sir and he's just gonna give up it says going out in a blaze of glory oh boy so who do you go for do you go for gray and blue 
because they were supposed to be your friends? Dr. Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus says no. Does not want to live on without Happy the Andy. And it's a sad moment for Happy the Andy, who's probably going to send that king towards somebody here. Where is it? I'd be thinking of which target to go for. Now, this is the, the point of view of Happy the Andy. And the transport is thinking about it. Now, you could see that tower there, right? That is where the king is for Grey. And when you're starting to kill someone, you should think that it's possible they're going to come suicide against you. But it's hard in the moment to do that. Yellow is slowly getting crumbled down. Blue also going to start to go down to some of these turbo ships here. Green, can you attack right on water? I will try and snipe him again. I need a distraction, says Orange. I'm concerned that Yellow will go too close here to the castles with the transport ship. Because if the king sinks, there's no explosion. My units just can't reach. You can transport your king to me, says Teal. I will give you life. I will protect you. Yellow says no. I'm going to take out Gray. But Gray just researched treason. Gray just researched treason. So it would have shown a signal there, which perhaps gives Gray a chance to survive. Gray's going to be like, hmm, I didn't see anything there. Treason's actually really, really awkward because it only shows it for a second or two. No, Gray signaled it. Purple signaled it. And Yellow knows that, that he's been spotted. And they're talking about it now in yellow. You can't. This is no time to back out now. This is the time to do it. The king from gray is on the move. The king from gray has run now to the castle on the, on the right side. And yellow is out of the transport ship thinking about making the move. I said that the king for gray was threatened for a second by yellow. But I think, like, Yellow taking a little bit too much time to make the move here has cost him a chance at actually killing somebody with this. Maybe would have had a chance otherwise. King goes down. That's our first player down in this game. It was the player we thought would win with the melee and, and, and like, with the wood and with the trade and with the extortion with the PayPal transfers. And, it, and the King's going to go down. Now, easy to get real negative over Yellow's situation, but it still does damage. Losing those castles will hurt Gray. It still does something. Anyways. Yellow says, good luck in all caps. And look at that explosion. I mean, that still damages Gray massively. So, I mean, that's so, even like the farm. Like, you don't have the wood to do. Wait, blue is dead? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. Gray makes a move against blue. Gray uses blue and throws him to the side. What a play. Oh my god, the timing on that too. Gray did that. Well, Yellow was booming his base. Wow, Azure uses Blue to kill Yellow. And the second Yellow's dead, throws Blue aside. What a horrible, horrible thing to happen to Blue there. That's pretty sick. A champion kill as well. Again, it's hard to kill kings with infantry. Now that explosion does hurt Gray even more. Gray's got like nothing now. And blue drops the GG. So, you know, I thought that the players who would share land together would maybe be best friends. But turns out being close in proximity leads to warfare. Ray asked earlier how many petards to kill a tower. Oh, really? I missed that? Okay. Ray says, lost 90% of my town, but worth it. And now Jonathan goes over to red, who is being attacked right now by orange. You and me, what's the move good, sir? I love you. Actually, wait. Teal said I love you to Yellow. <laughs> and Yellow was dead and saying I love you too. I just assumed that the I love you was to Red because Red's actually alive. And they're going to team together. But the only... <laughs> while, while Dr. Jonathan Prudius Maximus is kissing the Roman, he just thinks about happy the andy <laughs> the yellow says win for me daddy okay we need to calm down a little bit guys but orange keeps making move against red here and i think orange is going to be in a good spot to kill red with the next wave red is like the only thing red is able to make here is like have and with the bohemians that's pretty horrible now azure is talking about the prices of things right now it's a thousand gold for 100 wood at the moment 
And Azure is housed. Oh no, houses are so expensive. Oh shoot. Didn't think about that. Let's check stockpiles, guys. Stockpiles are on the bottom left now. Skunk's got 10k wood. Slump is 30k wood. Oh, that's gold. I'm sorry. Uh, but No, it is 30k wood. Whoa, orange can outlast everybody. And we've got six players remaining. I just wonder if... Like, like, I think red and teal would be completely dead if Sally or someone would have killed their trade. The potential is definitely there. Their trade still being alive is huge. And it's easy to forget about that now too, right? Sally's going to focus through the middle. Guys, I can give you res, but I have no pop, says Azure. And Sally says, hey, Gray, want to do something fun? Let's see how this goes. I don't know why Red is thanking Sally. I don't think Sally would have sent resources. Tribute events would show if resources were shared. Green is now landing. And Green has got a bone to pick with Red. And like we said, starting to lose these buildings would be a big, big thing here. That's true. Maybe Red is saying thank you, Sally, as mind games to make people not trust Sally. Hmm. If I had to pick a winner right now, it would be between orange, purple, and green. Gray paid a price for attacking yellow. Sally says, how about a wonder victory to speed things up? Ooh, wonder victory would actually be really smart, but I think you can't go wonder victory when Teal's still alive with turtle ships. Actually, is Teal gonna... Teal's gonna go wonder victory. Teal's prepping for it right now. That's what we're seeing. This The wonder goes in here, guys. Will we have a wonder race? Actually, it would be really tricky to get in and kill that wonder. That's exactly what Teal's going to do. Listen, Teal isn't in love with the Roman anyways. Th this wonder will be in dedication to Happy to Andy. I may have a shot at this. Might the operative words is purple, and purple's thinking with a wonder victory. Now, the villagers were walled out, so the gate's got to be placed. If you're going for a wonder, guys, you've got to have all your vills on it at the very start of that wonder because it goes wong. It makes the noise, okay? Whatever that noise is, I can't do it. It lets people know. And you don't want to alert someone and not have 45 vills on it. So I don't know how many villagers Teal actually has. 22 is still reasonable. And there it is. There's the wonder. It's on the way. So Teal thought of it first. Now... I'm a bit of a wonder expert, okay? You don't want to build it next to the wall like this for two reasons. First off, if rams come in, the ram hitting this wall is going to do damage to the wonder. But also, if you had more villagers, you couldn't surround it. But I guess Teal has calculated that there's not more villagers. Sally says, we got our next target. Green, the turtles are strong. I'll need you. So yeah, this alerts everybody and says, hey, whatever you're doing, drop it. And we start to make a move for the next player. I cannot express to you how much it bothers me, though, that Teal still has trade. I'm just seeing Teal trade cards all around. And again, it's just super tunnel vision from players not to f remember that. Red's still in it, by the way. Red is now the distraction for Dr. Jonathan and Prudius Maximus. Do you guys appreciate that I say that name the full time? I hope you do. Foreseen Cow with seven months. Welcome back. Says, hey, T90. Watched you on YouTube first, then Twitch, then Facebook. Now back to Twitch. Love your content and everything you do for the game. Hey, thank you been a long time foreseen cal who could have foreseen it <laughs> sorry don't leave um glorified bacon unknown hd big booty <laughs> big booty latina lover thank you for the new sub <laughs> oh man uh all of silent echo thanks for the 26 as well ask cannon thank you for, for the seven and we've got gray going for a wonder on purple's island Gray, you've got a lot of free real estate over here. Oh, Orange is here for red again. Orange is here for red again. The Woad Raiders are going to make a run for it. King has to leave. There is still one castle for red that he could maybe get back to. The Woadies are going for it. Red can't get the quick gate down. Woad Raiders are speedy, folks, but the castle still stands. The Trebs could maybe go for it. Again, we're seeing the weakness of not having a ranged unit. And red survives again. 
Dang. I mean, for now, but I think pretty sure Orange will lose everything here. Maybe Orange can take the castle out and then Red won't have anywhere to hide, but Lightcap will take the Trebs. Hand cannons will defend from, from uh, the... Uh, words are hard here. Sorry, the uh, infantry. So, castle will fall. There's also cannon galleons on the other side. There's nothing there to kill the king, though. And meanwhile here, we've got showtime. And those turtles. Did Teal lose the turtles? We gotta go back here. Turtles. Where are the turtles? I thought Teal had more turtles than this. They just turned on each other there. Oh, oh, they're defending the wonder. They're cramped in here to defend the wonder. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So yeah, Teal's like, I don't want to take a fight right now. If I don't have to. Because the wonder just needs to be part of the victory here. Um, resources for Teal still is trade. So Teal doesn't have wood. Is buying wood to make more turtles. And yellow is, is sitting here, still cheering for Teal. And again, the trade continues on this side as well. Let's let's do a quick page up, see what the cost is now. Four, what? 500 wood for 5,570 gold, Gray. Dang. Well, Teal's going to lose all the trade eventually. That is pricey. How long does it take for Wonder to be built? I mean, it takes a long time, but obviously the more villagers you have, the the faster it can go up. So this could have gone up twice as fast if 45, or I think the max is 46 villagers could fit around it. But I don't think Teal had that many villagers, so that probably would explain it. This is kind of a pathetic sight for Red. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I think Red is just going to try and outlive everybody else at this point. Like, if there was a podium, and it, the goal was to get into third place to get some prize pool or something, that essentially would explain Red's existence right now. Red does still have some really weird trade, though. It's like somehow making it through, being sneaky about it. Now, the weakness of this wonder... Might even be the land, because Teal doesn't have land units. So if units came through here, it'd be good. Look at the trade. Look at the sneaky trade looping through. Wonder is up, though, guys. Appreciate it. Everyone Craigasm in the Twitch chat. Oh, Very satisfying. The turtle ships are kind of ruining it. We can't fully appreciate the, the top of the Wonder. But the turtle ships are also beautiful in and of themselves. I want to see demo ships in here, though. What, are, they, are they stuck? Did Teal... No, the, okay, it's just pathing's weird. Kind of felt like they were stuck. Yeah, so they're going to get the fires in front and then the galleons behind. That makes sense. Thank you, a sneaky popo, for the new sub as well. It's been... Uh, I haven't quite been back... Oh, God! Wonder Denial! Wonder Denial! Orange is trying to deny Gray's wonder! What? Orange is probably like, maybe I should build a wonder too, but Orange tried to deny the wonder from Gray. Gray's going to complete it anyway, so if Teal's ever goes down, Gray's going to be the next target. And the the great, the, the last stand here of the Doctor has begun. And they're going to make a move. So we've got 40 turtles that already have 180 kills against a much larger force here. Oh, God, there's trebs from Orange. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, the dream is dead. <laughs> the dream is completely dead. Rip. And Orange didn't want Grays to go up because Orange doesn't want anyone to win with Wonders here. That, that was why Orange did that. Villagers are making the move. The peasants are rushing down the trebs. They spent their entire lives building this wonder only for it to be destroyed. Sure, they were kind of forced to do it and they didn't really enjoy it, but they've got pride in their work. And that wonder will go down. They will be satisfying to see it go down, though. And that is quite sad there. And the king as well is going is right next to that wonder. Obviously, if, if Teal dies, there will be an explosion and then Teal is defeated and the king is trapped. Yellow is, is devastated. 
And Teal says it was worth a try, and it was a good play. It was exactly what needed to happen in that situation, I feel. This will be the end for Doctor. And the Doctor is dead. All right. Well, well played. I mean, they, they made that look very easy. And now suddenly, Gray is like, uh, I'm in danger. Because Gray is the only one with a wonder standing. I think it's hilarious, though. I think it is so funny and could be this next level thing as the explosion will happen. Wait for it. Boom. Oh, I got the timing right. Um, the fact that Gray built the wonder on Purple's Island is hilarious. Oh, Gray deletes it! Gray deleted it? Want me to delete it because I for sure can't defend it. And, well, it just got deleted. And Orange with the quote now from the taunt. The wonder. No, the wonder. <laughs> Imagine building a wonder and then deleting it like that. It's not minus 1,000 res. It's 3,000 resources and the villager time for a wonder. I think Purple was actually kind of okay with that. Okay, but here's my thought. So I got to pause for this just for a split second. Hear me out, all right? You put your creative thinking caps on. If Orange were to show up here to deny this wonder, Orange is going to show up with a crap ton of Trebs and a crap ton of Wodes. And if Orange were to do that and take out the wonder, he's then going to be staring at this castle like, well, I might as well just kill Purple's King while I'm here. <laughs> my thinking was like, that wonder could have killed Sally because Orange would have shown up with units and then just stayed here and demolished Sally at the same time. But Yellow says, you got what you deserved, Blue. Teal, I hope we meet again. Woof. So how many players? We got five players left. Red is like last man playing last man standing. Gray says, I'm going to nuke someone. Who do you prefer? And Orange says, Green, what do you say? Us two versus the rest. I, can we please salute Orange for the good Diplo this game, guys? Orange was chatting since the start. Also, I think those salutes should actually extend to the majority of the players because the map generation screwed us over here, right? It, it became very complicated. It was very much a situation where if you fight, you are wasting resources, and so it got very, very stalled out. Sally says, You are giving me a tough choice. I like both of them, but Orange is stronger. And Orange sees it! Orange sees it! Orange actually made a move against Gray right now! Because Orange wanted that 2v2 anyways. Sally just expected it would work. Says, thanks, man, for being such a badass. The wonder, the sacrifice, everything. And Gray says, shit! Orange enemied me. And so now this, this gets a little bit spicier. I mean, there is... It, you know, the timing there was pretty impeccable, right? So, important reminder, there's like a four-minute delay between what's actually happening and what we're seeing. So, just in the off chance someone wants to, you know, get some details from the stream. So, Orange just straight up they had the timing perfect there. And I don't know if Orange even noticed the transport, per se, but obviously the timing there was right. And Sally says, uh, Orange, this is awkward. And is probably about to drop the bomb of, hey, I'm going to have the team up against you. I like you. You're really nice. Grace says, send it. And the king will die. The king died there, right? Yeah, because Gray's enemy now. So Orange notices. Orange is on the move. I think Orange might have noticed the Hussars. Orange is on the move. We'll lose so many houses and so many castles, which is so bad. But Gray will not kill Orange because Orange fled. Explosion will happen. Chips will go down too. It's expensive losses. And Gray tried. Just as others have tried in this game. But no one's been able to use their king to kill anybody here, guys. Alright. Now, this is bad, 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 bad news for Orange now. All the trade's starting to go down. And now Sally's gonna build a wonder with one vill! What are you doing? Get some more villagers on it, Sally. It's gonna take forever. Sally's got one villager building the wonder. Time's of the essence here because the others could consider a wonder right now. Sally says, bleep my allies. Now probably said something completely fine and the game's chat filters just broken. We know that's established. It still hasn't been fixed. That's all fine. Um, then GG, time to decide. So Sally's telling them, make a decision now. Maybe the wonder is a bait after all. I don't know. 
Now the town bell has been rung, which was a misclick. Got it. What are their resources right now? Um. Okay, so I don't know the price of stone at the moment. But I feel... <laughs> Dude, orange could build a wonder. You get red, I get perp, says orange. So orange is not interested in a wonder victory. The thing is, I think red's doing a good enough job to stay alive. Hmm. Can orange actually kill this wonder? Oh, that's kind of sad. A couple ships get stuck. So, guys, I just realized what time it is. I'm supposed to leave my house in 18 minutes to go to a concert I bought tickets for for my fiancé and I. 18 minutes. Oh, God. This is really bad. We might miss the first artist or the second artist or maybe the entire night. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Who's the concert? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, um, actually I forget the name of them right now. It's a, it's like a small punk group and I forget the name of them right now. Um, oh, I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. We'll see what happens, but just, I, I gotta tell you. Staring at this amount of villagers building the wonder. Not happy about it. Not pleased in the slightest. Sally could definitely be building that with more, but doesn't have the villagers right now. Which I guess explains it. Red, I believe in you. Says Teal. From death. <laughs> From death. <laughs> no. We'll see, guys. It adds a little bit more drama to the situation, I suppose. Still wondering, will we see... Oh my god, Orange is such a god. Listen, I'm already I'm already pretty much dressed, alright? So we can, we can do it. I also could... That was if we wanted to get there 30 minutes before and get like a drink or two before things started. So realistically, I probably have like 40 minutes. That's alright. It's all good. It's fine. Listen, do you, do you guys remember the video where I was... Two hour... Okay, story time. Story time. Because you guys... A lot of you guys have maybe come in in the last couple years. And this happened five years ago. Okay. So, five years ago was around the time that I had met my now fiancé. Okay? And uh, we, we lived in Florida. Um, we weren't living together or anything yet. We're just dating, right? And so I didn't really know her family. And as you guys know, first impressions are really important. And I'm sure when she told her family what I did for a living... He talks about video games, and then they see me, and they hear my stupidity. I'm sure they were like, this is a horrible choice. Who is my daughter dating, right? So there was a lot of pressure involved in that whole, you know, are they going to be okay with me talking about a video game? Do they think I live in my parents' basement type of a situation, okay? So, um, so naturally, like, you know, I didn't really didn't know them that well, okay? Um, and... Both of our parents were actually visiting Florida at the same time. So my parents were staying with me. Her parents were staying with her. And we were like, you know what? It'd be really good if we could go out to dinner on like a Sunday afternoon. There was a final lot of event that day. So I figured like 6 o'clock was going to be fine for the dinner. Because we started at 11 a.m. And it's a best of seven team game. It was a 2v2, I think. Or maybe it was a 3v3. Okay? And... A, a Gamer Legion, or maybe it was Tyrant back then, or Secret. It was probably Team Secret. So Viper, Tato, uh, Jordan, uh, whatnot. They were up 3-0 in a best of seven. Actually, come to think of it, I think it might have been a best of nine. It was definitely a best of nine. They're up 3-0 or 4-0. They're winning what would be the final game, and Viper lets units in through his own gate on Arena, and they lose. And then they lose the next game in a very long, very long game. And then they lose the next game in a very long game. And then the next one. And long story short, a 3-0 or 4-0 winning position for Viper's team turned into going to the final game. And I was 90 minutes late to the first dinner between my parents and my now fiance's parents. 90 minutes. I was texting them because this, this is my job, right? We have this final. It's my job. We had like 10k viewers. It was a big deal. 
I was texting them updates, and viewers who were there remember this, and they were, you know, it was part of the part of the thing. So if you look, there's a video, and it's called "The Game That Lost Me My Girlfriend" or something. It's on YouTube somewhere. Her parents were right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they. I think they like me, or at least they do a good job at acting like they do, which is good enough for me. Must have been great for the casting. I mean, people loved it. Like, people were dying, dude. I was so biased to my casting because I was so, so upset about the situation. So, yeah, realistically, I probably have 40 or so minutes. And if you go to some of those comments, people were like, well, did she break up with him? Because <laughs> people don't watch all the time. See, Jonathan's boom! Surprise! Rams and siege auditors transported. This is so expensive. The transport wood is expensive. The siege wood is expensive. Wood is expensive. And I'm not sure this is necessarily worth it. Especially against the Magyars who have the Magyar Hussar. Orange is really going for it though. Like seriously going for it. And the wonder is slowly going up here for Sally. Who has been producing more villagers to complete that wonder. Green... Trying to make a move against Red. Uh, guys, who forgot Red was even in the game? I linked it earlier. It was a show match between Viper, Tato, Hera, Leary. Okay, so it wasn't even a tournament? I am the worst then. I thought it was a tourney. I mean, it was a, a high-level show match. It was good games, and... Someone, someone linked it. Uh, Orange still holding on, naturally, right? And... Or, or purple, sorry, holding on. And Orange is going to lose a lot of ships here. Orange probably a little distracted by some of the other things happening. And a lot of the cannon galleons will go down. Should remind you all that um, Orange has 64k gold. So Orange can, can buy more wood and, and last a bit longer. But Red... <laughs> what does Red offer to the game right now? <laughs> <laughs> Red doesn't really offer anything except existence. Oh, jeez. What a game. Red offers Red, yes. I mean, I he's not like he's not playing the game. Red is really grinding this out. Oh, boy. That could be a bad castle, though. Uh, anyways, thanks for the support. Um, I... If this goes on for another 40 minutes, though, I will have to make decisions. And if we continue it, there's no way that someone can kill the stream if I, like, leave. Like, if I were to leave and just leave it like this and you guys could watch while it's gone, I, I wouldn't have any way for someone to kill the stream, though. So it would just be the end screen for, like, five hours. I've always joked that the mods are going to kill the stream, but I don't think there's any way anyone can. We're good, though. We're good, all right? Mm. Red is healing up units as they're getting destroyed. We have a wonder countdown now, folks. Appreciate the wonder! Appreciate it! You are not appreciating the windows on this wonder enough, people. Ooh. Ah. I don't care where you're at. I don't care if there's people around. If you're on a train with headphones on right now just give me one Ooh, ah do that one time people will give you weird looks but they'll get over it really fast all right people do weirder stuff all the time thank you stockpiles for purple i mean five wood at this point people are paying how much for wood what 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 <laughs> At one point, Orange paid 54,000 gold for 5k wood. What? What in the world? That is a cliff-worthy transaction. <laughs> what? That's 50 trees. <laughs> Dang, man. Okay, and I guess green is buying stone right now. Holy. So how much wood does Orange have left? 2700 wood dang okay hey how's this can we speed up to where live time is at this point i think that's reasonable right i mean orange is gonna take out this wonder that's the sad thing is this wonder will not stay up because orange can make navy and purple can't 
We're going to at least catch up to live time, which is maybe three or four minutes ahead. Let's go two times speed, though, so nothing crashes. Cannon galleons can take out all the docks and all the castles. And purple will be stuck. Green is slowly taking out light cab with cannon galleons. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Don't, don't let red convert the cannon galleons. Oh, no. Don't let it happen. <laughs> you talk about a resource swing when a monk converts a unit. You have to look at it completely differently now that wood is so expensive. Oh, green paid so much gold to drop that castle and denied. Well done with the monk micro red, I have to say. Also, Teal... Dr. Jonathan Prudius Maximus, if you wouldn't have committed suicide, you're the only one that actually has safe trade. Just saying. Which would probably have brought you the win. And yellow wants support from green. Uh, or orange does, rather. It says, green, I'm out of res. I need you to help versus purple. Well, I'm going to tell you a mistake that orange made here. With all that wood and gold purchased, you need to just trade with green. And you can protect that forever. So if you have the trade, the others can't trade. That's that's the problem here. Is there still enough resources to make trade? You need to make trade. Yo, red is still trading through the middle. Huh? Oh, wait. What's happening? How much, how much gold is coming back from that? Zoom in, baby. Someone says, is this not a live game? I'm always behind the actual live time because people could spec cheat otherwise. So I could be like, purple's about to die to a bunch of petards. And then purple could, in theory, listen to the stream and be like, oh, there's petards coming. Now, people should close the stream, but it just makes it so if people choose to be that guy, it there's no reward for them. Hmm. You know what else would be worth it? It would be worth it for Sally to slowly convert every single champion here. <laughs> I don't know if you could get a monk but that's 55 free units I think that's worth it slowly orange we're at live time now slowly orange is going for the castle and green is in coming in support to take out purple and the wonders at 200 years oh god I have no faith this wonder is going to stay up dude no, it will not stay up because cannon galleons can go here and take that wonder out. So it's just going to be a big giant tease and it's going to get denied. Oh, man. Can red afford a wonder? Red can't afford anything, right? Red's got enough food to make more light cap. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Castles slowly go down here. Red says 190 years. Red's not going to contribute there at all. Sally has moved with the king. If only you could, like, use your king's explosion to defend your wonder. That's not how it works. Red clearly has nowhere to be tonight. Didn't make any plans. Is ready to chill and is like, you know what? I don't have work tomorrow. <laughs> God, you know, like, Red's king could affect this game so much if he just YOLO'd his king at somebody. I mean, if he could get a transport ship. <laughs> Red is already at the concert. <laughs> Red took my seat, man. I mean, I respect the energy, though. Like, <laughs> I really do. I can't be upset about it. I should, hold on. Let, let me text my fiance here. Let's see. She is downstairs. I'm just going to text her. Life of a streamer. Green can't lose galleons to paladins here. At the moment, there is a stalemate in this game. What I should say is, my boss says you've got to stay late tonight. It sucks. Which is kind of like... I guess red's my boss because red refuses to die, but the joke is I'm the... Never mind. Okay. Um, all right. At the moment, there's a stalemate in this game. 
can we plan to leave in like 20, 25 minutes at the latest? I'm not going to miss the show for this, guys. I'm sorry. You could call, say I'm old T90 back in the day. T90 must be whipped. Oh, back in the day, he missed family dinners. Now he won't miss a crappy show. Uh, you could think that if you want, but like, I kind of realized that uh, that was kind of crappy of me in the past, and I don't want to do that again. So, um, I, I think what I'll do is I will leave the game up and leave the stream up, and it will just be there for hours. Yeah, I've gone soft, people. Hmm. But I'm not going to miss this show. We're talking now. Green, do you have res? Can you send me some wood? I have 200, says Green. Does he have coinage? <laughs> the cannon galleons can range the wonder, though, right? Yep. Okay. Dream is dead. Dream is dead. Dream is dead. Dream is dead. Dream is not dead. Dream is alive. God, you guys are being so nerdy with your micro. <laughs> Someone in chat just said Red has stolen a boat. Red has stolen a boat. Red is breaking through. Red is making plays, people. We can't forget about Red. Yeah, it very likely in six hours this game's still going. Oh, 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 Cana Galleon! Get sniped! That's a big deal! Green is two. Orange is three. Wonder's halfway down. Now, Wood Raiders are on the way. Paladins can defend from that. Orange could also be distracted because of the Wood Raider control. Red is also making his play here, people. I don't know how many resources are there to repair for Sally, but these ships over here for Sally are clutch. That Wonder should stay up for now. And a monk! A monk, the most important monk ever! He's going to convert a ship. Ah, where's the monk at? I can't see the monk. Is the monk dead? I think the monk died. How did they kill that monk? Now the cannon galleons come back in. Now they have to sit in range. What's funny about this is Orange can't range these ships because Orange is Celts and doesn't have Bracer. This is crazy. This is crazy. He got him. He actually got him. A hundred years for Sally. The dream lives on. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. Does Green have any cannon galleons left? I don't think so. No, two. Two cannon galleons. We are down below 100 years. Green says I have 10 gallons. Which, yeah, cannon, galleon, galleon, cannon. Okay. Sally's got no wood. And the, the price of wood is probably insane. You need to buy it, though, and repair it if you can, Sally. And I think the villagers are just being used as a distraction. And no, the gallons are on the way, but Red is here. Red is our savior. And Red actually could break through to kill Orange as well. What is happening? This is crazy. Red's one galleon that he converted is chasing. Now, how much is how much is wood right now? I actually think I can click uh something here. Oh god. Um I don't know what I click. There's a way I can click it to see the prices. This is insane. I've never wanted Sally to win a game more than I do now, but oh, the gallons are on the way. Oh, the gallons. Red is on orange, though. Orange could die. Oh, the gallons. Click a market. Oh, that's true. He can't have. He doesn't have a market. That actually explains it. He doesn't have a market, which is why he can't buy or sell anything. Red's got a market, and you can see the prices there. So it, to buy 100 wood, it's 1,300 gold. Sally has the gold, but no market. No, 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 60 years. Red is making his play. He's going for the market. That's a big play. That is a big play. Say goodbye to your market, Orange, says Roman. Hey, who remembers when the conflict between Roman and Schlump started four hours ago, it feels like? When they were fighting over that relic. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are amazing. And and Sally continues to try and use the paladins against the cannon galleons. Which is Sally's only hope. 
Sally is asking for sling from Red, of all people. And Red's laughing. And there's the cannon galleons. And, 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 paladins! Galleons! 50 years! God, this is gonna, this is gonna just ruin it for us, isn't it? There's no way that stays up. I refuse to believe it will. Sure, you sling me some wood. The castle's going down for orange. The king's gonna be exposed. But green is actually the king now. More paladins are on the way from Sally. So Sally just continues to patrol the paladins here. It waits for the cannon galleons to come in and it goes right back. Like right now, you gotta go right back. Right back, right back, right back. I did not see if my fiance responded to me. She did not respond. I just got the alert from the ticket app telling me the time the show starts, guys. Cannon gall galleon numbers at eight. King is gonna go in another castle for orange. 34 years. Don't do this to me, world. Don't do this to me. Don't tease me like this. Don't act like there's a world where this wonder can stay up. Because there's not. The green says, bro, I can't get to there. We're at 28 years. No way. Okay, green's actually getting some hits there. The ga cannon galleons had to be microed. There is a thousand HP. I think... One volley from all eight of these cannon galleons and the wonder goes down. 23 years. You got to commit all your palace right there all the time if you're Sally. All the time. No, you, no, no time to back away here. This is insane. What a crazy situation. If, if they all had Bracer, this wouldn't be happening. Like, this is such a unique scenario we'll never encounter before in the game. What? This is crazy. 15 years. 15 years and then a very quick goodbye for me as I've got somewhere to be clearly. Meanwhile, Red's still doing his thing. Attack and siege workshops. Here we go. Here we go. Paladin's relocated. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Green's going for it. Green's going for it. 10 years. Please no. Please no. No. Green did it. Sacrificed every single cannon galleon and did it. And now this game is destined to continue for the rest of the night. Oh. I knew it was too much. I knew believing would be too much. Oh. It was less than 10 years, people. And now what? This is the worst stalemate ever, but Red's coming to town! <laughs> Red's coming to town! Don't ask me how! Listen, he's got eight gold workers, which are the trade cogs that have somehow been weaving through the middle of the islands constantly. And none of the navies found him. He's the stealthiest trader ever. He's got monks, he's got hand cannons. Hold on, I'm getting a text. She said, I'm still getting dressed. You're good. Okay. All right. Sweet. We're still, we're, we're still gaming, people. We're still gaming. I guess I'm not eating dinner tonight. That's fine. Who needs food? Um, well, hold on. Do you have a transport, maybe? Red says, I got nothing. Red says, I can convert one. Of course, Red believes that it's possible to convert a transport ship. Green says, game too long. You don't get to say that. Okay? You don't get to say those words, Green. Anybody else can say it, but after what you just did, you don't get to say it. Alright? Not allowed. Also, well played. That was a really nice play, but considering the context of the situation, I'm a little upset with you right now. If you could do that, I could demo someone other than that out of ideas. Red says, I heard something about a concert. Red, you have received outside information it is the rules now that you must sacrifice your king on Arch. I imagine someone might have messaged them on Discord. They might not have been watching the stream. I'm just saying, the rules are rules. You just go blow up, buddy. Okay? You just go boom on Arch. Just go boom it. Very possible someone's like, hey, dude, this is hilarious. T90's got to get somewhere. I, I don't know the circumstances. Obviously, right? both players have played incredible. 
Stockpile situation, guys, as a reminder, is this. So, so orange has gold workers. Green has gold workers. Red does too. Sally does not. But like they, the only resource income they have is gold, and then they have to buy wood, which is insanely expensive. Also, I don't think Red has had villagers this whole time. My monks are food because I'm dumb. Oh, wait. He got the food monks upgrade. Oh, shoot. But he only has trade. That's funny. <laughs> wait, so the only resource he has is gold. So this... <laughs> Researching that tech is actually awful. Oh, Red does have bills. Sally says, can anyone reasonably win? Green says, can we all just resign? Green, again, to repeat myself, you don't get to say that. All right? <laughs> there was a way this game ended. Or could have ended. Oh, jeez. You got to be careful, guys. Red's going to convert your ships with food monks. Red, what is that? Ha ha. <laughs> I mean, you know those times, guys, where like you're watching random videos on YouTube because you can't sleep or you're bored and one is recommended to you that you never thought you would watch and then you never thought you'd really get sucked into it, but then you somehow get sucked into all the storyline of the game and you just you, you just can't leave. Now, I can't speak for everybody, but I feel like this has that energy. The, the out of wood. The concert I need to freaking leave to. Red somehow staying alive. Red still somehow having faith that this is winnable. Red still having a market to buy wood to make trebs to push orange. I imagine some of you guys probably found some of my videos in those same circumstances where you would never thought you'd be watching this game. What in God's name? I mean, now they're going to focus on red. <laughs> okay, but let's... Can we scheme for a second? Because I do have to leave soon. What do I do? Full zoom out? I could probably do like this. And then just leave it? Like this? Because you can still kind of see stuff? I think that would be it? Orange says, is there a way we can finish? Sally says, got a transport. How did Sally get a transport? Hold on. Zoom. How did Sally get the transport? It feels really, really bad to go backwards right now. Green lost the transport. Green lost the transport. Oh, yo. Sally got a transport ship. The plot thickens. Yo, and Sally's going to bring... Okay, Sally says, get a transport. Red, I might be able to win this. T-90 <laughs> will not like it. <laughs> no, no. Wait, yes. I don't know what to root for. Do I root for the transport to die or do I root for the transport to survive? <laughs> I think Green knows. But Green doesn't know exactly where the transport is. It's hiding. <laughs> There's also orange transports over here. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. Red says, okay, ally me. Oh, I also got to pee so bad, and the laughter's not helping. Wait, so Red said, okay, ally me to everyone, and orange accepted. Orange is done. Dude, orange, Red just sucks at Diplo, man. He wasn't trying to talk to you. Oh, God. Okay, Paladin's on the way. And this is what Sally thinks. Like, Sally's like, I can maybe kill them if I can transport. That's a lot of castles, but Orange doesn't have, like, anything else. That's huge. Food and gold sent to Sally? I mean, last I checked, Sally has food and gold. And Red says, all I have. Green doesn't see this, guys. How does Green not see that? Oh, now sees the monk. Now sees the transport. A monk dies. A ship will get converted. Enough units have gone across here to maybe be okay. Green wants that transport. And Orange is red ally. And now purple has made its way over here. Why does everyone want to be my friend all of a sudden, says Red. Because no one else has a plan. Except for you and Sally. So I think, like... Green and orange just don't know what to do. 
So it, anyone who says anything, they're just going to go along with it. Green is chasing purple's transport right now. <laughs> Guys, you know what's funny? Is I think Sally at one point made a transport ship in the middle pond by mistake. <laughs> Sally doesn't want us to know. I don't know what time this was created, but can you imagine if he made this by mistake a long time ago? Oh god, Orange is here with Navy and also protects the transports. And I think Sally wants to fight, take the castle out. Oh, I so want this to finish. Red turned on purple and killed units? And says, I don't trust you? What is wrong with you guys? Do you not want this game to end, people? It's like anything you can do to keep this game going on for another three hours, you're gonna do. You got green taking out the wonder, then be like, oh, can we all just resign? You then got red attacking purple, even though they just collabed. Red says, I, you just sent your army to everything I have. And purple says, I didn't see. And, and now red's forgiven him. Well, I'm glad that we all love each other and care about each other and forgive. All right. I'm glad that we're all settling our differences. <sighs> also, green never dies to paladins. Green is undestructible here. The bombard towers, castles, green never dies. Green could maybe eventually get a wonder, and then that wonder would complete. Either way, I got 30 paladins. We could maybe push with this. <sighs> I mean, you know, the positive here is if I do come back in five or six hours, it might still be going. Red wants a treb. The sad thing is, though, it's like everything is set up in this game for this to be horrible. Orange will have enough Old Raiders to kill one Treb. Orange will not have enough Old Raiders to kill two Trebs, but Orange will have like 30, 40 Wodes, and that'll be enough to kill one Treb, 100%. And there's no wood on the map. Should I be looking for trees? Like, th there's a tree that they forgot. Hold on, I'm getting a text. Nope, that's just that. Traffic is moderate. Leave now. It will take 40... I gotta go. I actually gotta go. I, my phone's telling me traffic is moderate, guys. I actually gotta go. I have to leave. Uh, all right. Well, here's the deal. What screen? Listen, what screen do we want? Do we want stockpile? I think we want stockpile. So I guess maybe stockpile or military. I don't know. Okay. Um... I think this is fine because it shows everything. The kings are on the mini map. You guys want stockpile. Okay. The kings are on the mini map. And I it, this game's going to end at some point. If it ends and I'm not here, I stay online today. So to anyone who subscribes and supports throughout the next couple but many many hours of silence cuz I'm still doing my thing tonight. Thank you. And if you've been a part of this whole journey, Thank you as well, but yeah, this is a first for me. These guys are going to play for a long time, and I'm going to say my prediction before I leave is Green will win with a wonder. If he can hold, Green will win with a wonder in four hours. All right? <clears throat> music, please. No music. Just game. Just vibes. You guys enjoy. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. It just, it's just, just too much. There's so much I want to say. It's so much I want to talk about. I mean, this. I'm out of here. Later, guys. Enjoy the end of the game. Hope it's a good finish. See ya. Oh, hold on. There we go. Maybe one more zoom. Yep, one more zoom. There we go. So YouTube, as you can imagine, I left. I left my home, I left my PC on, I zoomed out and just let people watch the game on my stream, and that was pretty much it. And what I missed while I was gone was insanity. So I'm not going to do a normal cast for you here. We're just going to break down the key moments of what transpired over the rest of one of the most ridiculous games ever. So roughly like five minutes after I left, 
Green finally started banking up the resources to build a wonder. Look at the resource income here for Green. Green had to use the market. Green had to buy the stone. Barely had enough gold. And Green starts building a wonder right here. Now, I actually recall predicting this. The Teutonic Knights and the Skirmishers won't move. But, like, as this is happening, Red says I can almost afford half a treb. <laughs> <laughs> because red is saving up the gold i guess to buy the wood <laughs> and so anyways green starts to make the wonder and sally says well that's the game i guess because everyone is stuck uh orange is sitting inside of the castle healing up the wood raiders red and purple are together but they need to find a way to somehow get to this wonder the good news is his wonders take a very long time to build, and Green does not have that many villagers. They have time to figure it out. So we fast forward in time. The wonder is on the way up for Green, but look at this. Purple, red, and orange, they're struggling for resources. They're struggling for units. Look at this teamwork. Orange is a transport ship. Purple has hopped inside with 20 paladins. Orange has navy. Red has monks, and they're all working against the common enemy now, green. Now, purple, being allied with red, is also going to hop inside this transport ship. And everybody's just trying to work together here to win this game. Thank God I went to that freaking concert. But this is ridiculous. I was trying to think, like, have I ever seen three players, like, really have to trust each other quite like this in a game? And it's been a really long time. There's a red monk in there, there's purple paladins, there's purple paladins in there, and they just have to be incredibly careful with their transport ship because wood is hard to come by, right? So it's time for them to make their move, right? That wonder is completed now, 330 years, and the countdown is on. We've got the transport ships moving. Orange is going to block the choke point, and here come monks, and here come paladins, and all of this is so important. Red loses so many monks there. To the Siege Onager from green. Remember, green is Teutons. Hard to convert units. But they still don't have an easy way to get to the Wonder. That's the main problem. They're going to need Siege of some kind. The Fire Shifts from green are killing most of the Galleons from Arch. But Red's Monk's still super important here. I'm hoping to convert some of these ships. Because they've got to protect the seas. And if they convert enough Navy here, they could also kill the Trade Cogs that green has been relying on for gold which could be really valuable. So, I mean, this is insane. You still got, you know, Red just chilling back here. Red's king is here. Orange's king is here. And green doesn't have any use for the Wood Raiders right now. They need a way to take out this wonder with 309 years left to go. But it's looking pretty bleak. All right, folks. So at 230 years, they, they feel like it's impossible to get any siege to take out this wonder. So the strategy is to fight and kill off what they can and then fall back to the monks and heal. But it's not looking good for these for the trio here. That's a lot of Teutonic Knights. That's a lot of champions. That's a lot of castle fire. And most of these paladins are going to die if they stick around here. Again, 220 years. They need more army here somehow. And they're also going to need some form of siege. So another shipment of paladins comes in. Purple's going to fall back to heal up. And the monks are hugely important here. Still so funny to me that Roman got the bohemian tech that makes monks cost food. Because, obviously, there's no food income right now. <laughs> also, Roman says, this is my champion. <laughs> but listen, folks. It's about to get so much better. And I just saw this as I dove through this, obviously. This is going to blow your mind. Okay, so not too long after this, uh, Roman says, I'm very close to a treb, just 200 more gold. So, is saving up 200 more gold to buy 100 wood. Has 1,200 gold and can't afford it, right? So, we're talking about treps. Because they need a trep. Um, but there's going to be a discovery here. And I'm going to fast forward to make Hardy's life easier. In a moment. You seeing it? Gray's been out of the game forever, right? And Sally says, hey, Red. Can Orange get a monk with redemption? He could convert a market from a dead player. I don't get redemption. So Sally's thinking about converting things from dead players. Roman's asking about it. Fight over here. 
Orange doesn't have a monastery and no monk and no wood to get a monastery. So that's going to be impossible. But they went in again. They attacked their healing. They tried again. They're going to do it more. Still thinking about it at 150 years. And there's a Treb from Grey here. And Red says the Treb is on the way. So Red has produced a Treb. Sorry, I'm fast forwarding here. Uh, they're trying to make life easier for Hardy. And I just witnessed this. There's a lot of paladins here. Just wait for this. There. Sally says, could convert Grey Treb. Hang on. So Sally turned on Grey to try and convert it, thinking maybe redemption was in, but it's not. And enemies, or, or, or sorry, allies Grey, so this isn't getting attacked anymore. And Red is on the way with monks uh, to convert that Treb. This is sick. This is so sick. So Treb gets converted, and now they have another Treb. So they're going to have two Trebs, and this is it, people. We've got 80 years. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. We, we could maybe do two times speed. 70 years, and there's another Treb on the way. Can Green defend this Wonder? This Wonder is being attacked. It's down to 2,300 HP. We go normal speed now, and that is a lot of Paladins. They just need to box out that Treb. It is worth it for Green here to sacrifice all this army to kill a trebuchet. It is so worth it, and Green does it! And Green does it, so the Wonder stands at 410 HP! And it's only 60 years! Red says, okay, charge. Treb is dead. Now, meanwhile, there's a transport somewhere on the way with that other Treb. And Green knows, I just need to protect this thing at all costs. Sally says heal first. And so they're going to heal up first, but they're really taking it down to the wire here, folks. Now imagine if I was like late for the show still. Green's bringing Vils to repair. Now, when you repair a wonder, it does cost wood. So that's not too easy. Red's Treb is here, by the way. This used to be Gray's Treb. And this needs to come across here. I guess taking out the castle first does give you more of a, an opportunity to push from this position, but it's at 46 years and the clock is ticking. But like, okay, let me just, uh, you know, keep in mind, I'm recording this like a week later, right? So I, I'm not as present in the game as I was, and I'm getting back to it here. Insane, they had to work together with the paladins. So you've got red and purple healing each other all the time. You had orange helping with navy and with the transports. You had information shared so the trebuchet from gray could get converted. Super crazy stuff. Yes. And that this wonder was repaired up to 1700 HP. Now that is, I think, four treb hits. Actually, it could be five treb hits. Four takes it really close. Sally says, can we get that treb across? They need to do it. They had been in this game for three and a half hours game time. Here comes the treb. And Orange says, last transport. 12 HP. This is crazy. The last transport they've got. And here we go. I think Red's got one still. Yeah, Red's got one. Red's looking for this relic. And there's the Treb. So here we go, people. 22 years. Crazy development here. Green spotted this. And Green's got a YOLO for that Treb just like last time. Now the Treb got one hit already. That's going to be the second. So it goes down to 700 HP. There's going to be a third volley. But we said it was four, right? That was not enough. 200 HP left on that wonder. And they need to dive for the wonder. Orange says, go for the wonder. And Sally says, yeah, I will after killing army. But Sally, it's at 14 years right now. They have no trebs. That wonder sitting there. And these, are, these paladins need to make their way through here. Sally, with nerves of, of steel, I suppose, thinking he could maybe calculate this. But the whole game could end. It's at eight years. It's at seven years. And Sally says, for the glory, we charge. And the wonder goes down less than 10 years. And Green calls the GG. Now, Green resigned. Green resigned, guys. This is exploding kings. There's still a king here. Green could have used the king. Green could have done something. But Green said, I've got to go to sleep. And just resigns. Green didn't actually say that. But now, it feels like this game is never going to end. Green's explosion could have been helpful. Red says, now what? And Orange has a plan. Now, Orange's king is here. Red's king is here. 
Sally says transport end of this BS. They want to die, go out in style. Orange says no. This is still a war game and is going to completely surprise Red. Now, what do we say in Exploding Kings? If someone's going to kill you, you could potentially take them out as well. There's three players left, right? Will we have a two-for-one deal here? Red turns, and Red does have gunpowder, but Wood Raiders are really strong if they get in close. And Red's king is in here, and Red is going to die. And instinctively, Red tries to flee, which is incredible, because if Red were to go towards Orange, Orange would be toast. And Sally says, Red, get Orange's king. You can do it. You can do it. But Red is dead. And so the Roman dies. And the Roman's explosion will not end up killing Orange. And Orange is going to get out of here. What a great snipe there from Schlumpf. And this is now a 1v1 game. They will not all die together. They will still fight for glory. And Orange still has that 12 HP transport. Insanity, right? Purple's paladins are stuck here. The only way purple got here was with help. And it's going to be Woad Raiders transported over here. As Sally can see this. Actually, I'm not sure. I guess Sally maybe got spot. I don't know how Sally could see it. Anyways, Sally can see this and Sally says that won't work. But Sally doesn't have an army here. Not an army that's big enough to deal with this many Woad Raiders. And here comes Orange. There's no castle for Sally. The king is currently inside of the town center. And here come the Wold Raiders. And Sally turns on Orange. Orange turns on Sally. And can Orange kill Sally or will there just be a complete stalemate here? Sally cannot escape. And Sally's paladins cannot make it over to help. They are simply trapped. And that 12 HP transport can still ferry over more Wold Raiders. And that tower... That has the monks in it is being attacked. The TC would be next. And I don't think Sally has any way of possibly holding against this. We had the, the Sally wonder go down below 10 years. We had the green wonder go down below 10 years. No one has had wood for like two hours. I, while this was happening, was at the concert. This took a long period of time. This took a, an extra hour. And Orange is attacking, and Orange is going to find only monks in here. Probably thought the king was in that tower. But, you know, when it's a 1v1 and exploding kings, you can't use your king as a weapon to kill the other person. You, you've got to actually try and kill their king. And Orange's king is safe in these five castles. And the TC is slowly going down. Just insane scenes here, and Hustars are not going to be enough. And the other thing, too, is usually killing a king with infantry is tough. But Woad Raiders are super fast. I think they're actually faster than a king. So it should be pretty easy to catch up to the king if Sally wants to run around. Sally's trying, but Sally doesn't really have the units. And the TC's gonna go down. The king is surrounded, and the game ends. At 3 hours and 45 minutes game time, the game ends. And what a finish it was. Now, I had just zoomed out. Like, this is pretty much what I had done. I just, like, left it like this. And 3,000 people stayed live. And, you know, at least when my fiance was driving to the concert, I was like, I need passenger. I'm not driving. I was watching it as well, what I could on my phone. But you couldn't really appreciate the details when I was zoomed out so far. So uh, I hope you guys appreciated the, the extra energy and effort put into trying to get through this. I mean, I had to fast forward through the entire game, which took me way longer than I thought <laughs> to even get to this point. And then I was seeing it develop and I was like, holy crap. What a finish there from Orange, though. What a finish. I mean, I don't think anyone can be upset watching this about how this game ended because it was so cool to see those three players work together to kill Green. That was crazy, man. I thought there was no way Green would go down. The fact they actually did that, using each other's transports and healing and, and teamwork was incredible. But, you know, for Red, I don't know Roman's going to have regrets, but R Red could have, and many people would say should have, sent that king right into Orange's base. King dies, Orange dies, Sally ends up being the winner, but somebody had to win, ends up being Orange in the end. You know, running home maybe makes sense if you feel like you have relics and the people, the, the other people don't. But from my perspective, Red just kind of lacked the understanding there. Boom. Use the explosion. Uh, stats at the end of the game, guys. Let's look at this. Stats at the end of the game. Capture Age is lagging right now. I'm sorry. Um, there's the KD for you. Prudius Maximus had the best KD. Probably those turtle ships in action, but 
Uh, let's actually look at the at the uh, trade profit. See, I had said like if Teal would have actually stayed in the game much earlier in this video, I think Teal could have won this game because Teal had this trade running for so long. But it was hard to recognize when Teal gave up that it was going to turn into a wood game like this. Like Teal's trade was never killed, and obviously the trade cogs did keep running while after Teal died. So this is a little bit of a deceiving stat. Trade profit was king, and the player who stayed alive in the end who had the most trade profit was actually Slump. Also, Slump collecting more wood was really helpful. One of the rare times where Kelt in present-day meta comes in clutch with all the wood shopping there. And I do remember vaguely Orange getting upset with people. I think it was yellow or red for chopping trees. And that has all the more meaning now. Um, guys, it was an incredible game. Um, I have been so lucky to see so many people enjoying the videos recently. Uh been doing it a long time, and a lot of you guys have stuck with me, but uh, just, you know, a little, little extra thank you um, for, for watching this one. And this was a special community game. I don't know how these games continue to be so unique. I, usually, things get boring after a while, and you think it's going to be the same old, same old. But Age of Empires just continues to deliver, and uh, as a thank you, I'll keep working hard for you guys with more and more videos every day. All right? So thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. The day they ran out of trees. Wow. Crazy game. I'll see you in the next one.